Yo, what is up, everybody? I am Mama Yoshiko. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome back to my channel, Mother Freaker. Sorry if I'm like Lou because my family is over there. And I'm assuming a lot of you new people, sup if you're new here, who have came here in the past month, you've probably discovered me through my fruit basket videos. And we got some amazing updates today. My friend, Lego. Stay till the end. We have a special announcement. Holy crap. For those who genuinely aren't aware, Fruits Basket, the 2001 anime hit that I love so much, is turning into a 2019 reboot this spring. Fruits Basket has been such a childhood anime for so many people, including me and a bunch of you guys. And when I found the news that it was gonna be a reboot, I like lost my shit. Like my shit was like up to here. I was so excited. But as of today, we got some new updates for y'all. Check out at Fruba on Twitter. Recently on their Twitter, they have released a second teaser visual and it is so beautiful. Like check this out right now. It is beautiful. Get freaking Yuki, Kyo, Toru looking adorable as ever. Sat around a table with Shigure, having some tea, eating some exquisite Japanese dinner made by our wafu Toru. We love you, baby. A couple of the people in the comments weren't the most hyped about the new art, mostly because in the first 2001 anime there was more. The drawing was more catered to the comedy aspect, like it was drawn a little more goofy, and now it is a lot more detailed and a lot more intricate, but I think it is so beautiful. And then... The parts all of y'all have been waiting for, I mean second thing. But one of the things y'all have been waiting for are more character updates. And our first new character update is Momiji Soma. Look how adorable he is, but look, look at his little bitty eyes. He looks like such a baby and I love it. I still love that they kept like the little childlike feminine boy for Momiji, I loved it. And look at him as a bunny, it's so cute. Can I snuggle him, please? And the new voice actor for Momiji in the reboot is Megumi Han. She played young Obito Uchiha in Naruto Shippuden. She played Atsuko in Little Witch Academia. Miki Makimura in Devilman Crybaby. And Tatami from My Hero Academia. She is so beautiful and I see that she definitely has an extensive resume. So I'm excited to hear her voice, Momiji. She's done a lot of like younger characters of boys. So to me, I think that's good to go. She's good to go, BB. And another amazing character that has just been released is Kagura Soma. She was definitely my favorite because one, she's freaking adorable. Two, she loves Kyo. Three, you're the freaking pig like me because I'm trash and I'm a pig. Hello. And look at her outfit. She is so cute. Like, I love that they kept her hair. I miss the original, like, tealy outfit, but she still looks so cute. And the pig is adorable. And the voice of Kagura Soma is Rei Kugimiya, and she also has a very extensive resume. She's in a lot of shit. She previously voiced Happy in Fairy Tale. <gasps> Shauna from Shakuga no Shauna. That was a freaking bop! Take me back! She played Taiga and Toradora. Holy crap, that is perfect. I am excited for that. Holy crap. Her fans nicknamed her the Queen of Sundare. I think that kind of works in the- I don't think I saw Kagura as much of a Sundare as much as a crazy girl for Kyo. But I think that's perfect. I, I think she fits it perfectly. Oh my gosh, she played Rise Kujikawa in Persona. <laughs> She's my waifu. I love her so much. I had no idea. Well, I only listened to the English. Laura Bailey, I love you. Who played Toru? <laughs> and she played OO1 in Darling in the Franks. I'm definitely excited to see her voice Kagura. And now, to all y'all in the comments, our favorite part. Who we ready for is Zaddy. I'm ready. Freaking Hatsuharu. Hata Haru Soma, who, if you don't know, is my favorite character, my favorite Zaddy. And this is his new character design, but I love that they kept the hair, they kept the freaking gawky jewelry, as student counselor said. And look at his cow. The same hair, same necklace, is looking at you like, um, fuck you, mate, back away. And his voice actor, be also 
fine as fuck. And the new voice actor for Hataharu Soma is Makoto Furukawa. He played Saitama in One Punch Man? Holy crap. That is wild. He played Yutaro Kindaichi in Haikyuu. Um, yes. And Maich from Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? Zappa from One Piece. Rider of Red from Fate. <gasps> oh my god, Shorter Wong from Banana Fish. Bless this voice actor. And Seiji from My Hero Academia. I can't- oh, he was an Idol Master. Idolish 7. He was in all of these. Excuse me, just fangirling like a little crazy woman. But those are all the new character designs. Which one are you the most excited for? And which ones have I not talked about that you can't wait to see? They also recently released their own website for the reboot. It has the beautiful second visual they recently released. They have an event? What? See, why can't we just go to Japan? This is what I'm, if there's one thing I'm envious about Japan other than anime and no subtitles, bleh. but also that they have like events, like for all y'all all know, I'm trash, I just bought the freaking Yadichin Bitch Club 2 DVD, and they have like an event, like this month, they have an event to like show it, and that's what I love that like Japan does, that they have like actual like shows and events where like the voice actors like sit and have like little panels, maybe some live reenactments. Like a couple years ago, I went to the Sword Art Online Ordinal Scale movie, and they had something similar, you know, all the voice actors were actually sitting down in the audience, but you know, it wasn't anything like a huge event, like what they do in Japan. And that is one thing I envied more than anything. We decided to perform a talk show by the cast as an animated memorial, and all of them are gonna be there. Can I buy a ticket? Please. First trailer, and there's their at, there's their Twitter, and here's the little gallery of all the visuals that have been released so far. This one is so cute. Toru is looking like such a beautiful lady. Happy New Year. Plushy, that kind of reminds me of Kyo. That's so cute. And on the website as well, they have like a news category where they show all the new releases such as Twitter celebrations, new cast, new character sets. Oh my god, look. I'm like gonna cry, like I'm looking at this with you guys. Holy, holy suffer and suck it, Ash. That is beautiful. Let's just take a moment to watch how beautiful it is. Oh, my heart can't take it. I'm not ready! Here's a cute little description about the show. All the manga, oh my god. It's so beautiful. Look at these visuals! I am so excited! Oh my god! <gasps> you- So many of you guys in the comments were waiting. Look at, look at! The sheep and the tiger. <laughs> oh my- I'm gonna cry! I I'm not ready for- Fuck, man, I'm- uh, My feels are already freaking happening already. Look how beautiful! I'm gonna cry! Why am I so emotional right now? I can't handle it! Holy crap, Toru Honda, beautiful as ever. The cutest visuals, holy, oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Yuki Soma, freaking splendid at everything. Prince Yuki, look how beautiful he is. Holy crap, change. Oh, he's a little rat, how cute. Next, Kyo Soma. I did not go to the high school I received locally. I was practicing in the mountains. The reasons is to defeat Yuki who seeks rivalry. That's cool. Short tempered, but the roots are gentle. Look at his little freaking Tsundara blush. Now let's change him to a cat boy. Cat daddy. He is so cute. Look it! I can't take it! You can tell like it's cute too. Like the face is just like, fuck off. And I'm here for it. Next, Shigure Soma. Look at his wing. Ugh. See, that's what a lot of people really wanted to keep. They wanted it. Because Shigure, yeah, he's like the freaking dad of the family. Like, daddy, um, yes. But, you know, people want him to remain his goofy, comedic self. How he's, like, funny and just heartwarming. And just has, like, a very fun, goofy relationship with everybody. And everyone wants him to stay that way. Look at his little wink. I'm excited. Although the hips are soft, there are no grips. What? So it's hard to see the true feelings. Occupation is a novelist 
and is annoying the editor in charge. Oh my god, I can't wait to see. I love that episode where she's he's freaking fighting with her editor. She's like, please work, please. And he's like, change for the poor beggar girl. Let's change him. Yes. Next, the beautiful Kagura Soma. This might also be lost in translation because I'm using the Google Chrome translation. I'm learning martial arts, so I also have no complaints. She's so cute. Look at her sweet, cute little peaceful face. Going to probably, I'm excited and I'm gonna chase Q till the end of time. What I love is that they still keep all the integrity of the original character designs, but I also really love how more detailed they all look and they are different but i think they all look so beautiful change look at her cute little porky self i just ate katsudon yesterday oh man momiji soma he is so pre look at him i'm gonna cry this is so emotional for me my father is japanese but my mom is german contrary to this young appearance he also has one side that was all grown up. That was another thing, y'all thirsty little bitches, I'm kidding. That's another thing y'all have been so excited to see. Y'all are excited to see the grown up Momiji, which I'm ready for it too. Let's change this cute little boy. A bunny, I love it so much. Zaddy, look at him. I noticed they're all tanner, <laughs> I don't know. Normally it is quiet and it is my own pace, but it gets fuzzy wet. I call that state lack. Yuki's good understanding. Yeah, probably lost in translation from my computer, but look at that fine hug of man. Change. And adorable. The cow even has piercings. And the same piercings? That's wild. And then we have Arisa Uutani. Look how badass she looks though. And Saki Hanajima can manipulate radio waves, read human thoughts, and send poison radio waves. Well, bitch, you wild. And for the news y'all have been waiting for, we have the release date. Can I get a drum roll, please? <laughs> April 2019, three months away. Obviously, they're not gonna know the exact date right now, I guess. It is officially going to be aired on TV Tokyo, April 2019, which is so soon, my mind can't even comprehend. Holy crap, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this for literally 18 years. I know change is hard, guys, change is very hard, but I'm so excited. It looks so beautiful and I cannot freaking wait. But that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you think of all the character designs we went through today. Tell me how freaking pumped are you for this release in April. And tell me, are y'all gonna freaking binge watch the whole 2001 anime? Are you gonna buy all freaking 20 plus mangas and Fruits Basket another and catch up on that ish before the reboot? Cause bitch I am. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Before we go, we got some showstoppers to announce. This week's showstopper is Azuki Sweet. I don't know who that cute bunny character is in your profile pic, but it's adorable. Thank you so much, love, for all your love and support. It means the world to me. Thank you. And thank you all so much who have subscribed after finding my Fruits Basket videos. I love sharing my hype and excitement with you guys. So, yeah, thank you all who have subscribed and have came. Thank you all for leaving comments that I'm a fake fan. I appreciate you too. Thank you all for my love comments. You tell me you're excited and you can't freaking wait and y'all are happy that I'm as hype as you. My mom is judging the messy studio room. Let me know if you want a video of me cleaning out this room because it's a nightmare. So I gotta go. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining my vape family. I love you very much and I will see you next time. Bye!